audio. Ready, say, go. Yo, Sneaker Beaters Podcast. It's Hood Hippie Jamestown. I'm always doing something when I'm giving my intro, <laughs> bro. Like, I'm always either taking a drink or Look, smoking that's something. That's the character. That's the yeah. personality. <laughs> And you know, we're still pushing for this truly sponsorship. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm drinking one in every episode. But I'm old Jason. And Could it be Jamestown again, baby? And we're the sneaker beaters. Sneaker beaters. Came to be some sneakers. What are you wearing today? What am I wearing today? I started off real smooth and sweet. We got the Fire Red Fives, Silver Tongues. Should we keep it a bug? Only specific people can make those shoes look good. The, these are... Because they're, they're good. They're... F- Fire sneakers, but just they get into the hands of the because like the wrong, wrong motherfuckers. <laughs> and like the thing is like they're accessible, yes, because and I think they should be accessible yeah, because they're because they're, they're yeah, yeah, it's a very nice sneaker. But some people just can't do it, bro. Like that. On. But that my, my boy here though. Woo, no, we can't. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I feel like sneakers like this. I remember growing up, like, watching, like, sneaker YouTube in, like, 2013, 2014. I felt like sneakers like this was, oh, like, for some sure. gray sweats, bro. Oh, you just, for you sure. No, because I'm going to keep it a bug. Those were one of the sneakers I really wanted when I was in high school, you know, when I didn't have, like, the bag like that and shit. Yeah. And, um, but, like, as I grew older, it's just because the way I, I got, I grew up built and things, I'm like, I don't think I, like, you know, I can't, I, like, I can only rock very specific fives. Okay. Yeah. So if five's one of those shoes for you, you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I Six is two. Six is two. Because I like them. I really like them, yeah. but I just don't know if I can, like, rock them. Like, a pair of infrareds, oh, yeah, I've had them. I can rock them. I gotta, go, yeah. Yeah. gotta be that one. We released those. But not not, not that they, new bug did, bullshit. They we did need the that 2019 nice. Yeah, we need that mass. nice. We need that nice quality. I still need my 2019 pair. I was I was, I was happy with those oh. from afar. Because I only saw them from afar. But then we did the great tiny town sweats. We got the um all black pleasures hoodie. Wake up, jerk off, cry. On the back. It's a way of life. <laughs> dog world hat. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> bro, I still need me a dog world hat, Man, bro. But I the was... thing is, like, bro, like... Had to grab them. Every time, like, one's available, or, like, I had to go drive up there to grab them. Like, that's kind of tough, you know Yeah, saying? for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's a drive. Yeah. Not percent of that. They're fire. It's a bit of a drive. But I... I I got lucky. Josh said he he found an extra one. Like they were supposed to be so. He was like, yeah, that was the extra. one I was supposed to buy. I was like, yo, what's up, bro? Yeah. You get that? We get that. So I had to come grab. And then we did. We got the um, Can't Travis the lighter, bro. Birds in the Trap concert tee underneath. Uh, you feel me? I'm damn near hot. We going Yes, sir. What you got on? Why? Why? get the shirt ready? Oh, okay. What you? What you doing? Need the, the, the rip ready? Um, we got Lil Uzi is diamond for or for. Diamond. <laughs> His forehead diamond. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the topes. Okay, doing the topes today. Some subies. Yes, sir. Uh, brown flannel, Iron Maiden shirt. Yes, sir. Someone's gonna say, "Does he even listen to rock or some bullshit?" Fuck you. Yeah. I don't know Iron Maiden song, but I have a shirt too, motherfucker. I do listen to rock. I, I listen to rock too, Maiden, but I don't know. So, no, oh, okay, I don't okay. know any Iron Maiden. I, feel, I, feel. I listen to more alternative shit. You feel like I, a lot more like. Nirvana, for yeah, me, okay, a Green okay. Day type shit. Nah, I feel it. You see the, you see the Travis, bro. This is when fucking uh Travis and Kendrick went on tour together with Damn and Birds in the Trap. I'm a fan of both of them. That was an amazing fucking time. An amazing concert. Got some fire merch. You know what I mean? Had to turn it up. This one of my favorite. What city did you go for? Oakland. What the Oracle? <coughs> it was pretty lit. I had some <coughs> shitty seats, but I had a great time. <coughs> 2017. I'm sorry, podcast. Um, finishes the bowl. Finishes the bowl. Has to. Has to. Um, No, because I remember that tour, bro. They didn't have a San Jose location. And um, Kendrick announces, oh, like, new locations, right? And I'm pretty sure, like, either they announced it before, maybe they announced it after, but, like, everyone thought it was, like, oh, Travis, too. Like, no, it was, like. Anderson Park, I think. Oh, they swapped Travis out. Yeah, because oh, like, Travis okay, okay. had his own shit to do. All right, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was so fire, bro. You that know, was, what other Travis, tour, Travis tour was fire. Uh-huh. The fucking this is the tour that really like okay, Travis is that dude. It was like the way he performed. It was like this is when he was first blowing up. Days? Like 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 no uh, rodeo. But that's the only tour I missed, bro. Like I went really? to days before rodeo, but I missed rodeo. And bro, I never with missed Rihanna. Travis concert. 
I was the anti toy. That's fucked up. Like that's that's amazing. I never went. But, that's amazing. No, but like, have you seen the there. videos? No, I haven't even watched that. So like basically, it's like where like it's a little Asian kid where he, where he's like rapping uh thirty five hundred with him. Oh, and he's like yeah. yeah, and then like I seen that clip. I'm like, oh shit, he's out there just giving some it's random kid crazy. like yeah, the, like making the best day of his life. You know going what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah, and then I seen another video where this would this dude jumps in the crowd again, and he's like, is a black dude just like whole ass. His voice is already lost. Like, whoop, like the show. Yeah, it's just like only oh, oh, things I know. Yeah, oh, and then they're just everyone happening. Oh, like, the the yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, Travis is the best performer I've ever seen genuinely like and I said mm-hmm. my first time seeing him perform was days before rodeo and I'm like yo but this shit is crazy so bro. The, like, the crazy this shit thing is crazy. for me is like I've always wanted to see Travis perform right and I didn't I haven't gotten to see him perform or I have gotten to see him perform so it was um when did you when did you first see him perform this is the only time I've seen him perform uh Rolling Loud 2018 that, that was set. a fucking amazing performance. Bro, that set. I was off the molly. Just rolling. That was the first time I've ever done molly, too. Just rolling. And like, like, that's when I peaked. Ah! Bro. And you remember who was on before that? <laughs> fucking Ray Shremmer. Yeah, but they're, they're just playing bo- Guatemala. Just going like, stupid. Just going stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the crowd just like. Jason's yeah. just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally me. And then. Oh yeah, shit! That Travis set, bro, went fucking crazy. I remember I was hello. I was I was at the other stage uh, when Travis was um, about to perform, and so I'm like sprinting across the. Oh yeah, literally, line. sir. Like, so what happened for me, there, bro, bro? Was like I'd gone into that set with friends, right? And yeah. then Travis came on, and I was already pretty deep in the crowd. Got separated, but, but I'm like, no, I, I chose to separate myself. Yeah, right? he had a goal. And then like a song, I forgot what song was about a job, right? And, like, someone grabs my shoulder hella fucking hard, right? And I'm like, who the fuck? And, like, while the beat's going, I'm still jumping, right? And I turn around, it's, like, my high school best friends. Like, the niggas I grew up with on Travis Scott. Like, oh, and I didn't shit. even go to the fucking, like... I didn't go to Rolling Loud with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, just ran into him, man. Yeah, oh, that's the just best like, thing ever, bro. Like, oh, shit. You just yeah. run into the homies randomly, non-planned. You're fucking turning up. And it was like, we, like, that's who we, like, grew up with on Travis, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucking crazy. That's, that, that's, a, that's a moment, bro. That's a moment. Like, oh, shit. And then I'm going, one of my boys is big and shit. Fucking, like, shout out Julian. He was like, with no mosh pits and shit. He was making oh, yeah. shit. Like, we were moshing and shit, but he's like, I got you, bro. Fucking, yeah, was, like, sure. so, I was like, pull my ass back. Like, fucking... Yeah, bro, that set was insane. Who brought out Young Thug? He brought out Gunna, Don Tolliver. Young Thug, a beast on stage. Young Thug is a no. really great performer. No, bro. he's not for sure. No, I've seen him do some not. fuck shit like like miss skip performances, but when he performs, he well, do, okay, he does he do does that. He's never done. I like every time he's done that. Like I just just so happened to not go to that set. I've been to that. You you were into that set? To, la, the last in 2019. Up, yeah, bro. I you was know what's want to know so something for young fucked thug, bro. up? Like he's you want to know something fucked up? What? My boy Carter, shout out to you more. Fucking so this man, so he purposely he's never seen Thug. He purposely skips like four sets on the other side that like he damn near did not want to watch the people before Thug, just <laughs> to make sure he's in the front. He pimps it out. No water, no bathroom break to see Thug up front. And Thug never fucking came. It's so crazy because like, he's right here. He never came. He's just Thug, looking down bro. at us like he never came, nigga. We was, I was, I feel him, bro. I was, I was, and you know he's like, I'm never going to a rolling out again. Literally because of that. That's rough. You just killed that man's experience, Thugger. And my bro, like I love Thugger. Me too. But he gave have- some. He just gave him some good performances. But bro, I've seen him. T- Three times. Like, he just stands there. He just stands there. And, like, nah, he nah, doesn't rap all his words, bro. Nah, not the performance I've seen. Like, Rolling Loud 2018. Fucking. Mm, I went to that. It was, he was that was, that was pretty turned. I was pretty turned to that. And then fucking. It was pretty turned. But that's just Bay Area. You have to keep that in mind. But he doesn't go off like that. And Go back and watch your video, I swear. And I seen him at Rolling Loud LA, too. Like, it might have been because I was rolling hard as shit. Then. Oh, okay. But fucking, like, when, when I seen him in 2015, he was really... He, Young Thug was the first concert I've ever been to. And I think, what was it? Whatever album. You know what was my first concert I've ever been to? What? It's so crazy. You probably aren't going to guess this. Who was it? It's a Cali artist. Cali rapper. YG? Nah, but same area. Nib? 
No, but same same game. Not the same area, like a little bit up north. Long Beach. Sure. Yeah, Vince Staples. Vince Staples? All right, for sure. I was about to say that, but that yeah, I wasn't you sure. You know it's crazy? So, like, this is when, like, I used to fuck with Logic. Because this is when we released Under Pressure. Oh, that was, and that was a very good album. Amazing. That was just probably his only good album. That's oh actually also, that you can go back to and listen to. I'm like, by this full. I think it, a lot of people don't give a fuck about this Logic album, but I think it's for me. It's Under Pressure and The Incredible True Story. I really like that. Oh album. yeah, that one's a decent that one's a, album. That one's a, a decent album. I mean, I don't. I don't think Logic has a bunch of fucking hits. So I think like, no, for, but I do like Logic, and I think for me, it's like that album because it's like. Bro, such all a his story. hits are his mixtapes. If Logic were to re-release his mixtapes. I guarantee you, like, he'd, like... You think he'd do more numbers today than he used to? He'd have so much more respect. Because uh, he sold out. Like, just trying to get that fan base and shit. Yeah, but I respect it. You have to keep a name for yourself. Grow. And it's hard to grow as a backpack rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but, like, that, full, that man had bars. And so... I, I, and I like that, that album he dropped in, like, 2018 with the, the with the depression song hits, bro. Like, where I was in life, I was like, I don't want to be alive. <laughs> I feel like... Yeah. I, no, nah, you know what's crazy? Like, I went to that concert, too, because, like, no, nah, I, I, I was there to see Joey Badass. Oh, it was uh, Joey and Logic. That's a fire lineup, too. Like, together? Like, I'd be nah, Joey like, Badass and Logic should not be doing shows together. You know why? Why? It wasn't a good combination? My nigga. They had to kick Joey off stage because, like, all the little, like, Logic fans couldn't handle the fucking... Like, what's my name? What's my name? Bob my and everyone's just fuck. I'm telling you, that's like easiest to cry. Like, I've been to a rock, mm, I don't know, Rocky. So, okay, it, I've been to two Rocky in the shows, crowd, and the crowd wasn't ready for the for the rowdiness in a sense, but it wasn't even that bad, bro. It really was not. If uh, that was my first so crazy like, monster, monster crowd, is a soft crowd, yeah. It? And I understand, <laughs> like, yeah, of course, but it's like, no, nah, like, Joey was turned as fuck. He's like, he was even straight up saying this, like, the latest shit I've ever been to. He came, he came out on stage, the first thing he Says I'm off that socket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was for to be turned. I have like, bro, this whole crowd, you fucking stage dove and everything. Oh yeah, bro. And shit. you know what's crazy? Since we're kind of talking about only rap, not even sneakers, but like he was wearing, <laughs> he was since uh he was wearing um Yeezy V ones, the um Oreos, I think, or either olive. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because just just that same week he was on Complex sneakers and he bought that shoe. Mm. Yeah. And he already had. A, he was like, "I need a fresh pair." I fucking no, 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 show. no. Like he was. He oh, bought him before he bought them and rocked them up against yeah, the show. Yeah, that's hard. That's yeah. hard. And that motherfucker crowd, fucking stage of shit was lit for sure. I and because you just said uh, Olive and Oreo V ones. I just remember like those I kept, are hard. I kept bro. saying V ones. Okay, I, I was thinking but they're about the whole too. Like, yeah. We keep were there V2s? Those are the V2s. Yeah, V1s are, are yeah, yeah, turtle yeah, I was Actually, yeah. We I was keep, gonna, we yeah. saying V1s. No, you time. were. I, was saying, I, know, I just didn't want to try to correct you. No, I didn't. You Right now, you just said V1. I know, just because you said I know, that's why I meant. Okay, that was, okay. that was a sense. No, yeah, because I was going to was gonna correct you last time. I'm like, bro, you see one breads. But, um, moving on. Or not moving on. Just let, let, I want to fucking say this real quick. I don't know. I had a pair of those V2 creams, the Oreos. Yeah. And I'm looking back, I'm like, damn. Sell them. It's such a clean, like just all black. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm like, I'm. It's not a top ten sneaker of all time. I still, I'm gonna still hold it, but they're really nice. I still I, hold I like, that up there. Hmm. Let's check the no, polls for the bread. Let's check the polls and like while we're on it, I want you sure. to give me your top five performers. Top five performers. If you want, easy. To, you don't Travis. Have to put it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't have to put it in order, but oh, you have them already. I got them. Oh, Travis, right, Juice, Young Thug. Those are my top three. I know you. I don't know why you don't fuck with Young Thug. I, no, I, no, 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 no. Sure, like, no, the Young Young Thug. I'm just not. You know, that's not why I was going. But, the, but Ju I, uh, Juice for sure. So I'm gonna keep it a bug. I love Juice. When he cry, when he died, I fucking I yeah. lost it. I cried. That's I cried like man, a bitch. Bro. Yeah, I cried like a bitch. And um, that was his you know what's crazy. Performances are amazing. So that same 2018 Rolling Loud, I went to a set, bro. Like, and it's crazy because I was like a girl I was like in love with at the time. Yeah. Where I went to her set with, and it was like I don't know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like emotional attachment. You know, yeah. I don't know, but he was a good ass performer. Fucking he went amazing. hard as fuck. fucking amazing, bro. Hard as fuck. Trippy's a good performer, but I don't know if he's top five for me. Yeah. I've seen like he disappointed me at uh, a love letter to you. So we got the polls. What's the poll saying? I got a feeling the folks are talking shit. I feel like a lot of people won't agree with this decision, but I just got to put him up there for myself. Your your boy Josh voted no for sure. My boy Miles Walker voted yes. 
I did not expect that from you, but I... A lot of people from my high school voted yes, but that's kind of expectable. Okay. We have... 11 yes. 12 no. God damn. But... Yeah. That's, pr- that's pretty weird. close. I think, and that's why I feel like it's like, you okay, would have just fair, like only, I only go. posted that five hours ago. Right. And I, I, I stand by it. Like, there's certain, like, Easy 3, I think the Easy 350 shoe itself, like, I understand it's, like, played out. There's so fucking many of them. But there's certain colorways that are, like, I'm, for me, just hit home. I'm like, bro, I want that shoe. That shoe looks so fire on a, just a chill-ass outfit. Bust that shit down. I'm comfortable. It's a chill, dope shoe. I, that's how I feel about that, I don't that, think bro. there's good enough colorways for me to make it a top 10 shoe. I hear Maybe you. that's the thing. And there's a lot of beautiful fucking shoes out there. Exactly. For sure. Either, yeah. For sure. I hear you. I hear you. So, your top five. Top five. So, I got Juice, Young Thug, Travis. Travis, number one. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's Continue. <laughs> Continue. Fuck yes. Um... I had him. I had him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I have my top three off the dot, though. You want me to give you my top five, then? Yeah. Number one, Travis. Number two... It's just hard to put in order. No, they don't got to be in order. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw an honorable mention first. Vince Staples, because he he's not only gonna give you a show, he's gonna fucking talk shit to you. Yeah, like he's fucking he's funny, bro. You know him. He's funny. Like, yeah, when I went to go see him at San Jose State, bro, there was people smoking and shit and shit. He's like, I have asthma, cut like if you know him, like I have asthma, cut like if you cannot smoke, I can perform easier. And some guys like, fuck you. And it was like a San Jose State, so it was like, probably some like college kid. He's like, hey. You want to go to the back and smoke crack? You're not dedicated to the cause, bro. We'll go to the back right now and smoke <laughs> right now. And, it, and that was just, oh my, bro. What the fuck? He's That's hilarious. Funny. But yeah, fucking. And then he's like, wait, hold on. Nigga. He's like, hold on, nigga. He's like, that some white kid on the stage? Or on, in the crowd? He's like, I could have swore I'd just seen you backstage, nigga. Like, is that logic? And to be fair, like that nigga had to look like, <laughs> like the whole crowd just starts dying of laughter. Is that fucking logic? Yeah. You know, bro? It had to look like him. Nigga had the whole Rat Pack hat, like whole NASA jacket and everything. <laughs> For sure. I found my last two as well. So All go right. ahead. No, go ahead. Sir. Fucking, I'm having a hard time between. Um, so I got Ski Mask, Uzi, and uh, Famous Dex. Okay. So Those my are two fire ass performers. My second is Uzi because um, I was like face to face with him. You so you were up front. Nah, he went. He performed with G Easy. I think it was on an Endless Summer tour. Okay. And basically, it was who was first. I don't even remember who was first, but um, hold on. I want to show you something so you can see. So, like, it was G- Lil Uzi and Jeezy. And I had, like, seats because the general admission was sold out. But I, So I just bought the chair seats. But yeah. I'm like, if anything, I'll just go up to the general admission, right? Mm-hmm. So I get there, like, probably, like, two songs before the opening artist fucking ends up finishing. And I'm like, oh, okay, so Uzi comes out. And this was, like, right after we dropped Love is Rich too. Oh, yeah, that's a whoa. All right, nigga, he was, he was at an early, early concert. It's so, and this was at the shoreline, keep in mind. So, and his fit was fire. So it was hella, you were, it was just a, 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 a close setting in general. Mm-hmm. But that's nice. And basically, I'm like, so the this, this thing starts, or the, his, his set starts, a few songs in, he's like, fuck it, I see, I see him, he's run. he says, fuck it, I see him running into, up the fuck, you've been the shoreline. Yeah. He's running up the stairs. Right? Huh? Shoreline Amphitheater? Yeah, it's a Mountain View. Yes. All right, that's outside one, yep. Yeah. So I see him running up the fucking stairs. Like, you know how it's like the stage? Yeah. The, the, and he's running up the stairs. Like, I'm like, 
what the fuck? I'm like, he's gonna run in the grass. So I'm like, I'm fucking jumping over seats, fucking, oh shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna go fucking, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, I know he's not gonna go to that side. Cause like, that's not, like, there's not enough people for him to go to that side. He's definitely gonna come to this side. And so like, sure enough, he comes to this side. And this fool is like face to face with me. And, and this is at the... Not like face to face, I mean, he was face to face with me at one point. Like, but that video is gonna be harder to find because that was like way before. I use recording too. Had yeah, have a video. That's what I'm trying to find it, bro. Uh. Like, the, I feel like the audio is taken away, but that's hella dope. That's hella dope. Fucking, that's what you like at Shoreline Amphitheater is where I have like memory. I didn't go, but I was watching it on my homie Snapchat of like fucking. Mm-hmm. Lil Yachty doing the fucking water fight and throwing water bottles in the crowd so everybody could throw water. Fucking Famous Dex getting into his draws and jumping in the crowd type shit. Like, all that. I, I, didn't, I wasn't there, but seeing that, like, those performances were like, bro, these niggas is lit, bro. Like, that shit's hella turned the fuck up. That shit looks hella fun, you feel me? There's fucking 50,000 people having a water fight. Bro, oh, I'm so mad, bro. How am I gonna find this? Because I really want you to see this video, bro. The part that- I'm trying to see it, brother. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about... Okay, so I'm only on two. I feel like I'm holding up the podcast. So three, I'll say Joey Badass. Joey Badass. Yeah, like, bro, He's that a fucker... Good-ass performer. Yeah, that fucker goes the fuck off. Um, you see the light? The lighter? Do I have the lighter? Yeah. I thought you had the lighter. Oh, I have the light yeah, there. I put it over here. The bong schmack. The bong schmack. So I'm on fourth. I would say Cardi, but he's not a good performer. It's just that his music just fucking, like... He's disappointing me on stage. He... What do you mean? Like, Rolling Loud 2018, he was acting like... Kind of, he was on some whole shit. Oh, that was the first time I ever saw him, bro. I was up, st- up close, fucking, I was fucking... I feel like, because half of his performance, he was just talking shit from the stage about how, oh, yeah. how he wasn't going to get in the crowd, but he was, like, too tough to get in the crowd. Like, it was, I was like, man, we'll get your ass down here, then, bro. Come oh, on, no, man. He, I, I think I seen that video. I don't think it was that he was too tough. He was just like, y'all guys get lit enough, I'll jump down there. He's like, open that shit up, Schlitt. <laughs> open that shit up, Schlitt. Open that shit up. But yeah. Alright. I don't know. Why am I blanking y'all right now on my fucking fourth and fifth? Oh! No, no, no. Move Joey back. No. Who did I say that to? Uh, Who is he? he? Okay, nah. Lil Baby is number two. Mm. i never seen that nigga perform. Bro. Because I've seen him when he just blew up at Rolling Loud 2018. Because I was like, and he even said it. That's like, it was, that was one of his first sets ever. And, um. The area? Yeah. And he was like, he he just ran it. He's like, I didn't even have a set list. I just ran out there. You just ran out and there. Yeah, my DJ bucket. played shit. I was like, what? And like, when I heard that back, because like, he was like running out of breath while he was rapping. But you can tell he was trying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I went to Rolling Loud 2019. LA and my like, bro like LA Rolling Loud like when I went there the whack the crowd was pretty whack and I, if you look on Twitter like a lot of people say that the same exact thing. the LA crowd yeah mm. bro it looks like I'm gonna have to show you this video I'm after like standing around yeah so. I'm not I'm not taking away from the podcast yeah so but little baby comes out bro and this is when he dropped um what am I I'm like the biggest little baby fan I can't remember this street gossip. Okay. And bro, like, comes out with a Montclair coat, like, and he's not missing a fucking word, just fucking hitting everything, going hard as fuck, like, getting, like, he's like, he know, like, to see him evolve and take his craft seriously, and then see him evolve into the artist he is now. Yeah. Like, cause like to me right now, bro, little, little baby's, baby's a, that nigga. Yeah. Little baby uh, is that nigga. So I'm sorry, but like, I don't give a fuck. Like, little baby's better than Drake to me right now. Well, baby's better than like. See, okay, it's hard it's for me to say. More hot than Drake right now, but I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Well, I mean, but Lil Baby's building a disco- uh, like that discography. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like Drake. Drake's. Drake, like every Drake's kind everything, of hard to Lil Baby. I, okay, but I'm gonna keep it a bug. I think a Lil Baby feature does more for you than a Drake feature right now. I don't know. 
Bro, just but like yeah, bro, just to see him evolve. I fuck with little baby heavy. No, no, I feel you. The, yeah, the no, no, heavy right. I forgot. Drake. Mm. Drake is like the heaviest name in the game. Yeah, right but like, like, bro, but like Drake's been missing, bro. Drake dropped some, the world will go crazy. Bro, we're really to turn this into the music podcast. Oh, uh, we bro. look, look. We we're are, not, no, it doesn't we're fuck you. We're getting through it. It's all yeah, culture. It's yeah, all exactly. culture. But honestly, no, nah, we're not even going to apologize for it because I love the fact that we're getting off topic because at the same time, it's like, you know, we're not going to fucking, wait, you, you think there's an hour, there's like an, at least an hour, 45 minutes of sneakers left to talk about every week? Not every week. So, no, but, and, and all this shit is, like, I feel like this is the culture that is, like, it's the culture that's influencing this. Like, bro, I'm gonna keep it a bug. If Baby keeps going, he's gonna get a Nike collab. And there's no way he does it. dope as fuck. There's no way he does it. And you know how I know he's gonna get a Nike collab? Why? I will go on his Instagram right now. <clears throat> all his music videos. He has only worn Nike and Jordans for, like, the past two years. I think it'd be in designer shoes too, bro. But but that. Yes, he do. Be in them thick ass but, Gucci's. <laughs> not not no more. No, you're talking about the Balenciagas, cause they're not really be thick Gucci's. Well, thick ass soles. You feel me? Well, what's he wearing here? White cement Some fours. fours. Panda Dunks. All right. Why don't my Air Forces? Some nearby. What are those? Some Versace or something? I think there's some Prados. Okay, that's one designer shoe. White and white Air Forces. But I know he got a sneaker game. No, but like, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, fucking, like, I all mostly own, like, anything that's not, the, look, Ray, Ray Allen 13s. Yep. I think he went sneaker shopping. Look, Orange Syracuse Dunk Highs. Bangers. Yo, did you uh, enter Bow and Arrow's raffle today? Negative. Yeah, they had a um, nice little set. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling like, he doesn't wear anything that's, like, you know what I'm saying? That was, I'm pretty sure he's going to. You think he'll get a Nike club, though? Because, you know, a lot of, like, I feel yeah. like a lot of the hood, a lot of rappers, like, just come about the hood. Like, not a lot of, not all of them embrace sneakers as much, but, like. Look at Mare. But that's a, that's to another level. Like, Lil Baby, I don't even think it's a much Mare even said he's, like, like Yachty he's type like, shit. Or Offset. I feel like that was one of those two would get a, a Nike collab. But no, but Offset said he doesn't want a Nike collab. Okay. Because he said he doesn't want to, like... Because Travis has a Jordan Nike collab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After he said it in, like... He did an interview with Joe LaPuma. Okay. Yeah. So he's like, he does, he does not to be... He doesn't want to be competitive. Mm. In that sense, I think he just wants to do something different. Okay. All right, for sure. Like you know who turned down. down a Nike collab? Hmm. It's not Rocky. That's interesting. Because... Do you think they went for him before Travis? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it went For sure. Oh, for sure. For sure, so they, bro. they went after Rocky for the collab. But the reason Rocky he's said like, no, that. I remember, was because he said in an interview, was like, he's like, they wanted me doing some bullshit-ass models. He's like, bro, I'm not doing no fucking... I forgot. He said the specific model. Yeah. Okay. They was trying to have him on some fucking... But they still have a viable awesome. relationship, obviously. Yeah. For uh, I mean, well, fuck. The only Rocky shoe he's had is that Under Armour, I believe. He had Under Armour collab. Okay. I can't even think of a ASAP Rocky shoe right now. But his shoe would be fire. I'm you know it. damn near his shoe would be Yeah, fire. no, I feel like anything. He could release a rock. Like, they could do a Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just a black and yellow with that with the testing symbol. Just think about it. Oh, uh, this these shoes. I know, I, I know what you meant. But think about you know, but like you know, what I'm saying the Jordan and Nike and Rocky collab would be endless. Just black, yellow, on a one. Yeah. Testing, two on a two. Speaking of tours, I always I wish I would have made it to that testing tour. That's a tour I wish I'd have got to see. I went. That shit. You went to testing. Yeah. Bro, how that's was that? Uh, that shit looked amazing. I lost my shoe. Oh, do you hear, like if someone if you ask someone how did that tour go and the only response is I lost my shoe that speaks volumes. <laughs> I lost my shoe. Like, fuck. Because you had to be going hard to lose your damn shoe. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, because, bro, that's the thing. When I go to a concert, bro, like... All in. Yeah. All in. Because I don't really be wilding out like that, you know what I'm saying? Tonight's the night. We rage. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, bro. Because I'm pretty good. Pretty chill, you feel me? We working and yeah, shit. Yeah, we pretty chill, folks. You feel me? Like, yeah, we, we like discipline when we got Let's hit the stadium, in. you feel me? And fuck it up real quick yeah. for the one time. I feel you, bro. 
test and look like that. Sh- that like when I performed, and when I performed the complex in Oakland, I was debating jumping onto stage and shit. But I'm like, nah, there's too many girls there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to knock a couple ladies out. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm heavy or nothing, but like you know, you know I was trying to somersault. My you know, slide a boot to like maybe sw- Swanton Bomb. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bam, damn <laughs> type shit. Fuck yeah. All right, all right. Oh, but yeah, speaking of concerts, um, let's get to some like sneaker topics. Yeah, what's next, bro? Uh, the Astro World tour. Speaking of tours and shit, uh, you remember like I think it was no, not Astro World. I think it was the Astro World Fest, Astro Fest or whatever. Astro Fest. And how hella people wore their tr- fucking Travis Scott shoes to the yeah. fucking. So we're the sneaker beaters, but we're not the sneaker morons. No, I would never. I own a shoe restoration company. I would never. Where my Travis ones to Astro Fest? Yeah, like the Astro. No. Just like any Travis Scott no, concert. I, would, no, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't. It's, even, like, it's not even like, bro, like, it's where our singers, but like, unless you in VIP looking nice or I you're like not mo- like, bro, come on now. You're gonna like, mosh them? Don't do that. Like, don't do that. Like, you could be flying, not in the Travis things. Like, yeah, like, I'm saying, saying, I wouldn't bro. even wear some mocha ones in there, like, for real. Like, I'm not. I'm not wearing nothing I really like care about. I mean, if I'm march. in VIP here backstage, I'm definitely wearing some heat, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, but not if I'm planning to rage. If I'm planning to be outside going crazy. You think next rolling loud, you can bring like two pairs of shoes? See, for me. So we maybe. have like our rage shoes. How about <laughs> something here, how we do this. Next rolling loud in Bay, in Bay Area, bro. We won't get VIP tickets, get our own locker and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's, so VIP comes with a locker. You know, I ain't never lived that life before. It's not that much more expensive. We GA. Nah, I feel that. Nah, GA retard. Nah, 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 it's not that much more. And you get your own bathroom. You don't wait in long ass line, air air conditioning mm, and shit. Was it just a couple hundred on that? Just like on a hundred. Oh, all right. We do. What we do that next time for sure. Right, Swap them out. Yeah, so we do it. This is what we're going to do. So we're going in like it's fine. We're going in like it's fine. Cool walk around. Give a few hours <laughs> walk around. Like, right? like, like, how how did I do it? Like <laughs> <laughs> we step, we stepping out, yeah. stepping out. We'll go ahead and so meet the bulls. Talk about about sneaker beaters and shit, <laughs> and then we change and go, get you know, some drinks. Get some drinks. Know. We'll be in the right mindset. <laughs> it's time to rage, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. All right, literally. That, that's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, but come, I don't know about wearing all that. No, bro. I'm not wearing. I'm. However, if you did wear your Travis's to Astro Fest, Rolling Loud, any shows, I mean respect. In a sense, it's and like... come place of order. Respect and come place of order with FixMyCase.com. We got you. Got you covered. And do it at the next festival as well. We got you covered. Extra respect. Moving on. All the way. All the way. Oh, he was like... <laughs> he was feeling that. Like, he was feeling that. Yeah. yeah. But... Kip clips kids Yeezys. So, ex- elaborate, can you elaborate on that for me? So, I'm going to put a photo right... Probably here. But let's send me or maybe over like, thug. What's happening? Or, who knows? We're changing our setup every fucking episode. Because we're figuring shit out. But I think this is going to be the one. This is fire. We finna, you feel me? Or finna unless I can right think here. of another way to redesign my room and make this content better. Then we just might. As for now, you feel me? We've yeah. been busting it down. I know we looking good right here for y'all. You feel but me? kid clips, kids Yeezys. So basically, I'm pretty sure this kid either bought it, these Yeezys or maybe um just proxy did them on manual maybe and just jig their addresses. And when jig jigging an address means like you put like put a different address in. No, like you put the same address, but you do like capital lowercase letters or period or like add like a number and then lighter and just like they they know you know uh, what i'm saying okay. so with they let all these this kid's orders go through it was either that or he bought them and what they did so when you sell on stock x or when you try to sell to people sometimes they care about what the box is you know what i'm saying yeah so it's you can't sell to stock x when there's a big ass x on the fucking oh. side on the on the size tag, yeah. you can't fucking, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta put, <laughs> okay, I get it. I, I fuck it. with it. I get it, for sure. You gotta do something with these shoes, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, you, me? you either gonna wear these or have a hard time selling them. But at bitch. the same time, because I've seen it posted on my, in some Facebook groups too, and they're like, well, people don't wear the box, so. 
Yeah, on mama's. But and somebody's time, still gonna like, buy them. Yeah. I'd buy a cl- I'd buy a box like that. Oh, you, for sure. I buy, I buy shoes in the box. I'm for sure, sure. Exactly. Unless it's like a box that's really unique, then I'm gonna yeah, yeah. need that box. Bro. Right. For sure. but one of my favorite boxes of the Ben and Jerry Dunks. It was really cool. Or the lobsters. No, I was gonna buy the J Balvin just for the box. The J Balvin. What's the box look like? The J Balvin Jordan ones. Oh, um, with all the colors on it? Yeah, it's yeah, a black so. and then, uh, yeah, just a box, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if anyone's trying to sell just a box, let me know. Let you me know. If you don't the box, just slide it through. Mm-hmm. Okay. Moving on. Sakai on their co- No, 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 no. Resellers taking Nike Fly Easies. Fly Easies. Man, I always want... To start with the shoe itself, right? I thought when this shoe came out, it was like, like a. I thought it was a cool. I just led the concept. I think that's a cool ass concept. I think yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's a good purpose. You just pop that thing off. No, I mean, like, uh, that's nah, really fly. Nah, nah, that's fly to me. Like, like it's you shouldn't be wearing them if you if you know. I'd what wear I'm them. I'd wear them for sure. Like, I. It's a dope shoe. I think they should make more of them. They're gonna make more of them. They have to make. You think it's a dope shoe? Yeah, for like a exercising, bro. Like, feel me? Like, you don't gotta. That's not what it's for. The I mean, I guess. But it looks. Might... It doesn't matter to me. It looks comfortable. You don't gotta use your hands. You can just slide it on. I I don't know. I don't think any That's grown dope. man, unless they're, they're like, uh, of the population that the shoes are aimed for, should be wearing that shoe. I'm. I disagree. I think is. I think if they they just need to produce more of them. I think it's a fly shoe. You don't need to use your hands. If they, I, I don't know, but the colorways ain't it. Are you talking about the bright ass colorways? Well, that's all I've seen. But I think the sh- I'm more so impressed by the shoe itself. The shoe itself. I would need to see more colorways first. For sure. And I think they. That's another. But first of all, like, what are these resellers call? doing? Man, we're hiking up the prices. Problematic. Like. Okay. It's one thing that for Air Forces to be out of stock. <laughs> That's a problem, too. Because, <laughs> like, come on, bro. I get it. Capitalism. Or America. Whatever. I get it. It's like, I, in a sense, be abusing some... Not Air Forces, but, like, inventory, in a sense. But Air Forces, come on now. That's what I'm saying. The Air Forces like, are fucking but, problem but, also. But now, like, but now... But now... Why the fuck are the Air Force is sold out? Bro, give let the fucking people that need the shoe fucking have them. For sure. Like, first of all, there, there's a very easy... Nike. Look. College student. Don't work that many hours during a week. You can't even give me a full-time job, but just hear me out here. Because I know I can do some things for a company. Walk in there. Char- charge them for some brainstorm sessions, Jay. But what about this? What if Nike outlets do only in-store pickups? And you have to be of the capacity to buy the shoe. For something like that. Well, yeah, for sure. I think something along the lines of making it more fair and like I mean, I can then at that there's a then there's like a really like, loo- there's one like something yeah. like that is like really loose to define what it means to be of the capacity, mm-hmm. like so. I, but I think like something along the lines of like just making it a lot more difficult for folks to bottom and and make it like more accessible. You feel me? Yeah. Um, Nike and US P, but bro, if you resell them fly easies, bro, go to hell. Go to hell. And even if you my friend watching this, if you're or reselling, you're like, oh, fly eases. Right, the the, the sure, fly sure. ease, like those fly issues for, yeah. for those people, cut out. The ones you're talking about. Yeah, like, even if you're my friend, like, I don't really care at this point. Like, come on, bro, you should have some sort of moral. Yeah, I think it, it was, it, I I think it, it's like, it, it, I didn't even think about it until like I saw like the videos of like the bro who's like. Oh, the people actually yeah, telling like, tell like, you from like, their perspective. I want like, these bro. shoes. Like, this is something that was actually designed for me. I can't. I mean, okay, so. here's the thing. Like, too, oh, but okay, like, do you, see, you know how they also make the Jordan 1 fly uses? No, I didn't see. I, no, I didn't see. The one with the strap you have. Yeah, I have seen those for sure. And that's the same purpose. All right. I mean, they're not that much more. But again, those are ugly as shit. They're ugly as shit. You should not be wearing them. Work harder. Get some mids at least. Or 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 fucking 
actual highs. Like, bro, let them have it. It's these silver ones? What do you mean? I'm looking at some silver ones right now. Yeah, no, they're not busting. Short and run fly. It's these ones. Well, they did a, like, a... a so they're, they're just extra straps. It's just a strap. Like, there's okay. not... You don't tie your lace. Some of the colorways are kind of fire. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I only seen the silver at first. But, yeah. Uh, moving on. Fuck you. Fuck y'all, if you do it. Um, Nike and US, USPS reach agreement. Have you seen the shoes? Yeah, I've seen the shoes. I think they're kind of... They're cool. Yeah. They're cool. It's not like nothing, like nothing too crazy. It's just, yeah. It's cool. I was like, when I first seen that they were canceled, I was like, ah, the world will be fine without them type shit. Did you close your drink? Yeah. Should I go down? You trying to entertain the podcast while I go get? Yeah, it's good, uh, for uh, sure. We'll give you an opinion or talk about anything you want. Well, what do we have? What do we have coming up next? You see, when you guys give us donations or something, or maybe like we just start popping like that, get a sponsorship, we have a little mini fridge. Oh, Trulies. I've just have the Trulies on standby. So, actually, I'm out of Trulies, so do you want another type of seltzer? Well, yeah, what else you got? It's like, they're called, like, there's some Hawaiian. I'll try it. It's good. I'll try it. Man, so what's going on, sneaker beaters? You feel me? What's been going on? So, something that I've been talking a lot about lately is folks getting their shoes restored. So I'm going to sit here and let y'all know, if you got any shoes that are beat up, then do it. You feel me? Like oh, we was talking about, you going to a concert and you warm on the wrong night out. Feel me? Maybe got into a little scuffle in your, in your favorite things, warm on court. Tap in with Fix My Kicks, fixmykicks.com and place your order. We do customs, dress shoes, heels, sneakers. Let me know what you need done um, and, we gonna have, and we can get it handled for you, especially summer coming up, right? You feel me? We got to get ready to bust down some heat for the summer. So ending on that note, tap one fix my kicks. What is your sneaker for the summer? Tell us what's your sneaker for the summer. What do you, what's your, what sneakers do you think you're going to be killing it with this summer? What is going to be the sneaker of the summer? Me? Oh, I was, I was asking them, telling them to drop it in the comments. But you too, brother, what is the sneaker? Bro, we, the... I'm going to keep it a buck. We don't even be getting comments like that. We're like, what the fuck is that? Interact. We get the views. Holla. Might as well say something. If you watch them. Drop a comment, like, repost, share. Anything helps. For real. Engage with us. This content is quality. What's your shoe of the summer? What do you think you'll be rocking the most this summer? <sighs> you know, things opening up. You might be stepping outside a little bit more. I see you was outside this week. You yeah. was out there drinking. How long? Sure. <laughs> How You feel me? <laughs> Bro, I'm not. I think I'm. Jim, I feel like the shoe of the summer is like. Hyper Royal One type shit, but I think my shit. No, nah, yeah, that's what you for sure. Wear, yeah. I'm. I also wouldn't say that should be so much true this summer. I feel like that's just what the shoe is summer. Like on some like, like what we're gonna be seeing our summer. Oh, like no, I, don't I feel think like so. that's what I'm gonna be seeing. Like on mm. feet, I go to the beach. I'm gonna be seeing Hyper Royals mobbing past for sure. You no, feel me? I'm looking. I'm, I'm thinking like for me, like what I already have, like my my pro- probably my um, Orange Pearl, my Dunks. Fire. Yes, out. sir. Yeah. Those are gonna be probably coming out the closet quite a bit. I think these might be my the shoe my shoe of the summer. Maybe the Union Four. Yes, sir. I was thinking about the Panda Dunks as well. Those are nice. Those are. I, I thought those were dope. I, I wanted to get those out bad when they dropped. Or I don't know these UNC Threes maybe too. Oh, and my were you talking about pan just the Panda Dunks or Panda Pigeons? The Panda Dunks. Okay, for sure. In my head, I thought you were talking about the Panda Pigeon Dunks. I'm like, bro, I'm not wearing no Panda Pigeons in the summer. <laughs> All that well, sweat, you're getting some sweaty toes, probably. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like the summertime is the is the time for that shoe. It was a nice spring, winter. summertime. Cause I would say winter is it more black and white. Winter too, for sure. I feel like it's a black and white shoe. It's a real versatile. Yeah. Real versatile. But... Yours are the guavas. I'm fucking with the uh, or, orange pearls. I or gotta the see these dunks. UNC fours in person because yeah. like I I, I say to kick. I'm waiting shoe. for the shoe to come in, but yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good shoe for the summer for sure. Moving on, Supreme Air Maxes. Only the white pair is decently looking. Oh really? That's funny because I think that was my least favorite out of the three, and I prefer the camo and the black pair next. Like a no grown man should be wearing that. 
No, fuck there is no way that them you think that, bro. Hell yeah, bro. That's the that's the one I would like the most. Isn't they're fire as fuck. Those are hella fire. All my mamas. Bro, not only is the model eh, but nah, like you're tripping. You're tripping for sure. But I I can see a lot of people not liking the shoe, but it, it gives me that like ninety Air Max vibe. No, okay, okay. Sure. No, the model's eh. That's what I'm saying. So the white colorway looks good, but a lot of like, white colorways in any model look good. But like. No, bro. The like, camo. I, that's no, why that one is. There's a white model look no, cool with the camo. No, <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. No. With the with the orange hand in the back. <laughs> you throw some nice little socks on in that bitch. Even just with some white things. You feel me? Some bro, gray sweat. Bro, what black, is this? Like the huh. way. Whole lot of earth tones. Bro, the way it says Supreme through the. No. It looks bro, like. Think it looks like a, like, like a predator. Like Alien versus Predator. It just reminds me of like that. <laughs> <laughs> the the white pair is nice. The black pair looks. Eh. Oh wait, where's the? Bro, another. What the fuck is that camo pair, bro? It looks like a. Bro, you know what it looks like? You know what it looks like? A, a fucking phone posit low, nigga. Nigga, I'm not. Okay, not really. Not, no, 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 no. Not getting. The soul is way vibes. different. Okay, but no, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I feel, I feel no, like this right. is I'm one reaching, of those shoes reaching. where if you don't like it, I feel like I wouldn't, I'm not for not, like, I feel like it's one of those, it's like kind of, it's not meant for everybody, you feel me type shit. But I feel like the so you, shoe is, if you, if you could hit that shoe for retail, would you buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Like if I would have tried for it this morning, I didn't even know these were dropping, I'm gonna keep it real true, I wasn't paying attention. But like, if I like, I would, I would definitely went for the camo pair. Would you feel me? Like, I feel like you could bust that down, like you feel me, a cool little fall time fit in your day, like. Even with some cool little summertime vibes, little shorts. That shoe is not With attractive. the knee popping, nice and moisturized with a nice little wife beater. Oh, my God. It's a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> that shoe is hideous. <laughs> the shoe looks like you're about to go have fun. That shoe fun. should be fucking burned. No, this shoe looks like you're about to go. Like, this is the shoe you That shoe looks like you're about to go hunting. <laughs> I'm saying hunting for fun. No, it looks like you're about <laughs> to shoot a bear, bro. bro. It looks like you're about to shoot a bear. I'll knock a bear down in those. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not gonna kill a bear. I fuck with bears. You feel me? But <laughs> I fuck with animals, bro. Uh, but yeah, I but fucking you should not fuck with those. these shoes. No, these those shoes, shoes go crazy. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're getting some hater vibes going on. No, they look like the like the the, the Bape Adidas, the Damian Lillards. Yeah, no, the the, the I wasn't a fan of those. But That's what they look like. Nah, I don't think so. Cause they got the '95 <laughs> type shit. Are you feel me? Nah, nah, I'm not for. We're gonna Man. have to agree to disagree here, player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck you. Moving on. Not even mid trash. That's what I. That's <laughs> no, what nah, mean. definitely not trash. Bro, definitely not like, trash. Play some pretty solid release. Anyway, and I seen a lot of I seen a lot of folks fucking with them. Shadow two point They were they shocked not shocked. Yeah, that's whatever. They didn't, not shock job, but you know how the not, or sneakers be giving out early access and shit. Yeah, they yeah they give out early access. More. When today today oh for sure I feel like that I'm not as fan as the Shadow Two Point as much as like the first ones. Oh like, yeah yeah no nah. so like, I would I'm a Jordan I One really... person if you know me I'm a Jordan One person but like I don't know leave those alone. If I hit for retail, like I'll definitely, like I might keep them, maybe. But like I don't know, like bro, they, to be honest, like they remind me of mids. What do you mean? They remind me like of a mids colorway. You feel me? Like something. That, I like, you feel, know, like yeah. is it they, the, something they would drop around the same time the original shadows drop? Yeah. For the motherfuckers who couldn't get them. Well, I don't know, like bro, it's like some people are throwing filters and shit on them in specific lighting, but like, bro, like I don't know if the suede is good. The suede doesn't look good. I don't know, bro. Like, yeah. Raiders fans gonna be going crazy. Oh yeah, this gonna be an Oakland shoe for sure. It's gonna be an Oakland favorite. Raiders fans gonna go crazy what? for these. I don't know. I they're, literally do not know. To me, they're just really average. Like that's that's all. Like there's nothing wrong with the shoe, but there's nothing spectacular about it at all. So it's yeah, just, I agree. It's just like I feel those, like maybe make the toe box white. Or the tongue white? I feel like I feel like if they would have made the tongue gray or what? No, nah, I don't even know. I think if they would maybe swap the black out with the white on the uppers, maybe I think that would make the shoe look nicer. But I still don't think that would make it look crazy. That wouldn't be a shadow two point though. No, definitely not. I mean, I think that I think they missed the mark with the shadow two point Like the I feel like how they did pine two point fucking court purple two point 
Fucking uh, Shadow Bag was the, Those are all better 2.0s than these. You feel me? Oh, okay. You okay. know what I mean? No, like, but the core, the, the no, the core purple 2.0s are good. They're not that good, but they're good. No, but, those are all not. I like all those 2.0s. Like, I no, uh, like two, the, the core purple 2.0s. I like them. I have them. The pines are cool. The pines. They're not, they're not nowhere near the first ones. The pines are like the, two, uh, the alligator eyes, bro. I had like ten pairs of those. Yeah. Just sold them all, bro. Mm-mm. I feel like those are wearable uh, hood hood favorite type shit. They are hood yeah, favorite. For sure. Like everybody, everybody got those. Everybody named. I literally those. feel like if they would have used leather, it would have been such a better shoe. Mm. They did use it leather, did, yeah, but like non tumbled, like you know what I'm saying, like straight leather. I feel you. Yeah, or you know what I'm feeling like, that like Nike did, like they know there's a better pine color where they could do. They're either gonna save it for a collab or release as three point oh. <laughs> oh, whenever they got a new pine. Yeah, I missed a we'll topic on here that I'm gonna add, bro. The, the 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 shit I sent you today, Chris Colgan. Do you do you know him? The YouTuber, the dude that's like, which one's your favorite one? No. And it's all the unreleased ones coming out this year? Chris Cole, I just found this YouTube. This this thing, the thing I sent you today. Where it's all the, the, the ones that are coming out this year. Yeah. Hey, let me show you what you... But yeah, oh, shout out Chris Colgan. I showed you... Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I didn't know Chris Colgan was that much, like, that fucking... Blown up as a YouTuber. That makes sense, and like I've sold them shoes, like twice. For real? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, I sold them like bodega dunks. I said, give him a steal. Give him a steal. Give him a steal. But yeah, shout out him. He's part of the sneaker knockers. But yeah, bro, this man dropped a photo of all the ones. So which one is your favorite? I'm I'm feeling those are the pollens, right? Yes, sir. I pre-ordered those. Oh, I don't think I ever mentioned that in the episode, bro. So, hey, you remember when I was telling you, I'm like, bro, I could have swore I pre-ordered something else, and I think it was episode two or three. Yeah, it was the and like, I can't, yeah, yeah, and I couldn't find the email, and I was tweaking, bro. So I hop on on Discord, the thing that was like, that was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all they were listening to us These the whole two, time. The pollen and the purples. Okay. The other two are, no. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, moving on. Or not moving on, but um, going back to... um. So I'm like, bro, I was telling him, I'm like, bro, I was looking at my emails. I could have swore I looked, I ordered Paul and Jordan ones and I looked like, like not just looking at my, int- or looking through my laptop, looking for the email to say like that's in my pickups. So this, we do have one pickup in a sense. Yeah. The so problem. I'm telling my boys this in the discord. They're like, bro, you don't remember you sent me money for them to pre-order them because you had already used your pre-order codes. I had already used my pre-order code that day for the UNC4 right. and I. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to get the pollen as well, but you can only use it once. Okay. So I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't use it again. So I told my boy, I'm like, hey, homie. Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, bro, like, yeah, you ordered them through me. They're going to go to your house, have the email here, send them to me. I'm like, oh. That's smooth, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, so your favorites are the purple and the pollens? Yeah, the pollens are the, my number one, but the white and purples are really dope, too. I'm going to give you the buck. When I first seen them, the the mock up slash lease for the for the three point shattered backboards, yeah, thought they were hideous. But now, that's that's a pretty nice shoe. I'm so that's ah. a shattered backboard. Yeah, it's a shattered backboard three point oh, four point oh, four point oh. It's my least favorite. Least out, out of the four. Really. So for me, it goes pollen. Out of the four, out of the shattered backboards, let me clarify. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought you meant out of those. No, four. the other one is fucked. The top yeah, one we didn't even talk about is yeah. fucked. That's that's that shooting. So should my favorite on. one would be the pollen. I want a better picture of the of the metallic purples. I'm at Chris Colgan. I'm gonna hit you up. Hopefully you answer me, but you usually do. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ask you for some photos so I can make some lyrics. Um. Hmm. Two. Okay, I'll say. First, po- number one, pollen. Two and three are interchangeable with the purple and the, and the shattered backboards because I don't know. You don't, don't know which one you yeah. like more? Okay. And then the last one, I think those Cheers. are Dia de la, Mu- de la Muerte. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's what they are. I think they're like a Dia de la Muerte, like a uh, tribute, but yeah. That's Day of the Dead? I think so. Okay. I think that that pink and yellow pair, I could be wrong. I could have swore. I think they did that with mids, actually, so I'm, I, I could be completely wrong. All right, for sure. But that I'm not gonna lie, the pollen's in that that white and purple pair. I feel like the white and purple pair might go crazy too. I feel like it's oh yeah, um, no, it's one of the OGs. Yeah, I that's what be, I was thinking. Is it, it? The um the, the, meta- one, said, yeah, the metallics because there was yeah. like the purple, the red, and the blue metallics. If I'm not mistaken, I think those are the metallic colorways. It was an orange one too. Yeah, you're right. 
Jordan 1. Bro, we're just like faded, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? Pulling them up. Yeah, it is one of the OGs. Blue, orange, red. Come on. I ain't gonna mess up the video, is it? It might. Let me check. Did you put Do Not Disturb on? Yeah, so it shouldn't have landed on the phone. But Try to angle it. No, we're good. We're good. Did not mess up the recording. We in here. I'm not cutting this. You guys will get the video faster, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on, only have two more topics, and then we're out, out of, of Before we move on all the way, out of all the OG uh, metallic colorways, which one, like, for, um, between the white, blue, green, orange, red, purple? I haven't seen all of them in person to give you an answer. Okay, alright. Off the pictures, then. Which one do you, which one would you be most attracted to? Probably the, no shot, Lino. Probably... Be a tie between the red and the purple. Yeah, I feel that. Yo, good. I'm really feeling that orange. Good. You're a Giants fan, aren't you? So I grew up in the city. I don't really watch baseball. Oh, good, good. You gotta be an A's fan if you grew up in the Bay. No. Fuck the Giants. I don't know why. Why is there so? Well, oh, I'm a Dodgers fan. So. Oh well, that's all right. Well, that's easy. So you're always gonna say fuck the Giants. Yeah, but For like, sure. but like, since I don't live in LA, cause like the first baseball game I went to was Dodgers, so. Okay. But, um, I see. We got some Dodgers. We got a couple of Dodgers caps. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, out of the Bay teams, like, I I gotta go with Oakland. Gotta go with the town. And is it? it it's just because it's Oakland and the town culture. Yeah, oh, it's just sure. the fans, the way oh. like. Cause I've been to both games and when I was deciding, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, yeah. I just wanted the teams they played against, like, cause I just like the players on the opposite teams. Yeah. And then I was like going to both games. I'm like, yeah, Giants fans are kind of like all oh, like. Oh, Miles is back. What's up, boy? Oh, you know what? I think I'm. I think he's just gonna be uh, here every episode. Then might as well. That's what I'm saying. He just got back. Speaking of the city. Oh, does he? He probably has a pickup or something from work. He's probably, probably. gonna say something. Bro, camera. fresh off. Bro, fresh off. But yeah, so like you know, the A's fans are just way more like passionate into it. Also, that's what folks like always said about Raiders fans over Niners fans too. Like. Like, oh, for and, like, sure. Just what, I, that's, yeah. that's, that's that's actually that's visual, you visually noticeable. For oh, sure. I, he put a jacket on. I thought he was gonna fucking bring some out. I have the jacket. Watch out, Lino. We we almost done. The dog oh, world cabbers. Yes, he was uh, over here talking about fucking. He's a Giants fan. I grew up in the city. That's why. So I, so I don't watch baseball. So like, I grew up like off the Giants stuff. Why well, didn't he, grow up he in the got city? got a similar upbringing. We got like, like half Oakland, half yeah. SF. I chose up on the A's, no cap. I chose yeah, up on, that's what I was I chose telling him, bro. Like, I was born in the city, but grew up in so, Oakland. Yeah, I was, so, on I was going really the opposite So way. I was like, fuck that. Oakland. I'm going to ride with the city team. No, so so the way it worked for me, so I'm like, bro, because I'm a Dodger fan, that's the first baseball game that I was going to. You know what I'm saying? My grandpa was taking me. I'm not going to change it that way. Yeah. Even when we were ass. And so, like, I live in the Bay now, obviously, but I would go to the A's and Giants games. Bro, you're going to have to stand, bro, because the camera's going to be all tweaked. Like, trust me. Yeah, you're like, you're not going to be in the. But, um. Um, and I'm like, bro, I've gone to both games. I'm like, bro, Ace fans are just way more passionate, way more, you know what I'm saying? They're like in that, like, they have a whole fucking dun 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 dun, dun. <laughs> If you go to a Giants game, it's just like, oh, you know. It's, just, it's really laid back. If I'm not mistaken, we had not won a championship for a minute. Oh, I mean, we have The Giants had won a championship for a minute until like the 2012, 20. Yeah, 20, 2008. They won, they won 2008. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They won 2008? Yeah, they did. Numbers. It was kind of like they was on a fucking Shut run up. for real. They was on a fucking run. Like every two years, they was taking it home. I swear it was the ten. Brother, you remember one? We was getting off the train one time when the, when the fucking final World Series number I called. Broke my, I broke my arm literally the day of the parade, the Giants parade. Damn. And when the last game it was, was called in 2015, we were we just hopped off the train. We're standing outside a bar, and uh, it was like Giants won. Nigga, we went to went to Mission Street, and it was turned. It was up. <laughs> it was up. All right, last uh, shoe topic. Oh, the last tailored. Sakai and the cover collab. Fire. I'm paying resale for these if I need to. No. <gasps> no <laughs> doubt. No. You said the green color was the best one up to date, right? What do you think about these? Even though it's Michigan that. colorway? Or is it black? Oh, it's black. It looks blue from back here. I think a black makes it look better. Those are kind of hard. Kind of? 
But I like the blazer lows too. They're hard. The blazer lows that are finna come out. Yes, I like. I, cause I like the blazer hard. highs too. I wasn't expecting some lows. What are you guys talking about? The Sakai uh, blazers. They're doing some lows as well. Yeah, look at look at what they're coming. Nice. But I like these LD waffles, bro. Those oh, bro. Yeah, those are hard. I'm probably gonna pay. I get an early pair. I don't give a fuck. Jason's like, I'm going skits on these. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're mandatory. Oh, for sure. I'm definitely playing resale if I have to. Hurry here first. These ones? Ooh! The, yeah. the green ones? <laughs> <laughs> the green ones with the Go green crazy. Go crazy. Yo, I know. Both of them are fine. Oh, dude. the red ones. I think it's orange. Even Lino thinks they're fine. Yeah, orange and yellow yeah, for the other one. Well, I like yeah, the buddy. green pair more. Oh, for sure. I like the orange, but you know I like orange. Lino, stop. The orange and yellow pairs, hell of fire. I really fuck with that green, though. Both of them are fire. Get both pairs. Yeah. Get both pairs. Oh, for sure. For sure. Moving on. Top 10. How many did you have? I got eight. All right. Top eight for you. Top 10 for me. Release it. Oh, let's talk about Complex Con first before we even get to that. Hey, did anyone get the Shadow 2.0? Uh, no, no, no. Nah, I got it. Nah. You, you grabbed the shoe? I didn't grab my one. Oh, yeah, no. You didn't buy him? No. You knock! Why they were like hella? No, nigga, I would have bought him. That's crazy. You're a cat. <laughs> bro, you should know me. <laughs> oh. Come I didn't on know if you liked them. Everyone's been shitting on them. Everyone's like, bro, they're not. Yeah. Bro, they're going for 250, 260. We were kind of shitting on we them. We were just but, shitting on them. I was like, thinking that. They're, they're going for 250, 260. <laughs> uh, hey, but good news, I'm back at work on the 15th. So. There we go. Back in the game. Back in the game. <laughs> get to it. Yes, sir. Moving on. Or no, I'm not moving. So, you'll Com see us at Complex Con. Complex Con this November. 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. Easy yeah, call. Punch call Easy call. I'm excited about that. I'm, I've never been to Complex Con. I'm excited. Um, Me neither. Like, it's going to be yeah, a I feel time. like they're going to bring some fire. For sure. I mean, just off the top. We've like, been out the game. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a bug breath complex. I'm trying to work for y'all one day. Or have you, like, complex. Oh, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So usually, for like Probably these, not. Who knows? I don't think so. Mass gatherings yeah. is right now, it's like either a... Just just especially like that, they're saying you're either going to have to get vaccinated or show recent... You think so? Testing. Oh, like, recent... Like, ah, what, like oh, a few yeah. weeks back when they were saying what's going to be required. So that's what they were saying. It's either going to be recent proof of testing or vaccination, but... That's easy call. You know, the scammers selling vaccination papers. <laughs> oh, wow. Need that. Need up. Oh, <laughs> need it right now. But, yeah, they're probably going to really... I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, Complex Sign was kind of whack. The, the whole online thing they did. I'm not with the virtual shit. Yeah, and, like, there was nothing fire apart the release. There's nothing, like... There was no shoe that made me want to get onto Complex Land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I your top eight? Nah. But y'all have released some fire clothes. Talk about Kami collabs. Exclusive drops. Push a T collabs. Pharrell collabs. BBC distance. collabs. For sure. Off white fire ass collabs. Ooh. On some real shit. My I'm gonna start my number one from. No like, no you gotta stop. From eight. Come here, start from eight. Yeah. Fucking Chinatown Converse shoot the UV uh, uh light ones. Those are hard as hell. Oh, um, are you doing another top? It's top yeah, 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 yeah. from a uh, complex con exclusives. Uh, Shit that dropped. So I got um the Chinatown Converse UV uh lights that changed colors. I feel like those are really slept on. Those are hard as fuck. Mm. Um, Revenge Storms easy. Um, the white off. We do not support. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything because to be. Do we get controversial on here? Do we want to have this conversation? I, I, I feel like is it is it similar to the conversation we had last week? About the Kai's or Warren Lotus? No. No? All right, for nah, sure. It's for like, so he has Connor over 31 Ryan. rape allegations. 31. Oh, are we don't... Did you not know about we that? We don't support this nigga. Wait, no you more. never heard about that? No. No, I just thought the shoe was dope. But I you never, never like, seen I never fucking... Who smacked this nigga in Paris? It was at the Virgil v collab, and they were doing a whole show in Paris. And the whole... Uh, ASAP crew. This is why Rocky doesn't doesn't fuck with ASAP so much anymore. Like Rocky and Bari aren't cool. Like he said, fuck Bari or or fuck V Lone or because, some shit at a concert. Because what? So well, Bari got hell allegations too. Oh. No, I, I don't. Does he have allegations? I think yeah, he just he hit a bitch. Video. Well, no, he has a video with the bitches that which is, did which is not good. The bitches was having sex with another nigga, and this nigga was up in the room, like filming and smacking the bitches ass type shit. I don't know some weird shit. 
No, I know. I've seen that one, so but basically... Not green too light. Much money on, Red too light, much money that on one. That shit. But basically, like... What the fuck is that, dude? What? It's just some new shit we've been trying. But, um... Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. You should... No, was it? Um, but I basically, like, I think it was Theophilus London or ASAP Nas or someone, but basically, like, this one, the allegations were spurring up, and, like, they, they get in a fight in the middle of the store and uh, shit, and they go outside and they're still fighting and shit. But here's the thing. We all, I'm, I'm, I'm all in support of women. I'm literally all in support of women. I know the number of allegations is fucking huge. Like, but. Be careful with this one. I know, I know. It sounds bro. like it's going in the left corner, bro. Uh, is it, is it, the bitch is lying. Is it <laughs> in the area? Don't not say that right now. That's not. I'm not going to say that, bro, me. but. Okay. Because we, we... Rocky, stop fucking with Bari for that reason, right? Yeah. What is that many allegations, bro? But stop fucking with... But still fucks with Ian Connor. Even though Bari has way more... He grew up with Bari. He, you know what I mean? He didn't grow up with him, but he met... You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but Doug also still... Drake... So who's in Connor? Well, I, I think I think to be real. Like, we and be- here's also the thing. Here's the thing, bro. I don't want to sound like I'm excusing rape because, like, I'm not. I'm literally not. Like that. I like, guess I'm like. You know, this is just. Like, I'm, like, like, I'm not even saying. saying he didn't do it. I'm. That's literally what I'm not fucking saying. It's just to make that very clear. I'm just saying because I don't know my position on this specific person, because also Amber Rose, everyone that. W- Everyone that went after him was only a civil case. There was no... And I understand, obviously, you can't trust police departments. You cannot trust any of that by that meaner. And I can uh, very much... That's why I'm saying I don't know my position on this. Because that can very much be the instant police departments are not trying to care about that shit. Because it's a lot... We've heard and we know a lot of times they were like, ah, you, you were drunk or... You know what I'm saying? And that's a clearly an issue. But... At the same time, they all drop their cases, their civil cases. They, so Amber Rose off, offered anyone on the, like all these women that were uh, bringing these allegations towards Ian Connor a platform to talk about it, even after they dropped their cases. And I understand, honestly, this one I'm just saying, like I understand if you don't want to talk about, why would you want to talk about like that happening? It's a terrible thing. Yeah. If like if it did like if it did happen. But, like, she said, like, speak about it. You can literally shun, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why it's, like, I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, I feel like, you know, like, it's, um, like, it's just always, in, like, you know, just knowing, like, in a culture where, like, women's voices just really Are suppressed. It's, are like, suppressed that's probably like, why I me? don't know. And that's, and so I yeah. feel like just, I never want to take a stance against, like, like, if. Yeah, the, the exactly. That's why I want to make. Allegations on you, nigga. You did something wrong to some of them, so, and that's and and some of them is enough for you to be a fucking problem. It might it might not be all thirty one, but if it's and even one, you're out of I pocket. I feel it. I feel it. You're completely yeah. right. Like I just don't know whether he did it or not because it's like. I think. How, how do you not? The like, question to I think for me the question to pose is, unless 30, you paid him 30, off. Thirty one women are saying, "You nigga, you raped me." Why? Why are we still questioning the, the the the? Why are we still looking for the man's innocence? Rather, like why? It's 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 like the the culture kind of invalidates woman uh, opinion. Like you feel me? Like because of like like so like if if we're not thirty three, thirty three, we cannot still be looking for this nigga to be innocent. Yeah. Nah. We gotta be like the, the, the some of these women telling some truth. Some of it gotta be some truth to this. The numbers are stacked against my guy Ian over there. So we revenge storms were on the list prior to this information, before this info. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do my top seven. We'll, we'll do the top seven. Top seven. Um, Pharrell nerd and MBs. Hold on, no, my bad. Before you go on to that, like I just want to make it really clear that like I'm not saying he didn't do it. Yeah, no, for sure. Because I would not have that. brought it up unless like I don't want my man's over here looking like. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you don't. You know what I mean? you could like. Like 
I want you looking like you support dude and, and like, cause that that's the thing too. Yeah, no, I don't support dude, but I, like at the same time, like I don't buy anything of his. Like I thought Revenge Storms were good, were like decent, but first of all, I don't think they're two hundred dollars worth. No, it's more that's than just to begin with. Yeah, and like I heard about all that shit, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not buying no rape merch. That's what I would call Ooh, it, rape yeah. merch, because like in a sense, like I don't know whether he did it, and at the same time, since I don't know whether you did it, I wouldn't want to wear your shit. Yeah, I'm saying give put money in your pockets to fund your weird activities. Yeah, but sure. I'm saying like Drake and all these folk are still out here fucking endorsing still wear v long. You still got their backs turned to the world. I mean, I uh, wear v long. Bars the dude started a v long. He has the allegations. He had I'm following. I mean, not Ian Connor fucking. Too. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I wear yeah, V-Lone, I mean, but I don't wear sure. V-Lone just because of the V-Lone. If the piece is nice, I'm sorry, but I'm going to buy it. Yo, if we want to be real, yo, for, like, there's a lot of, like, if we if we want to talk about how we buy shop products and shit, like, who, how do we get certain certain parts yeah. of our iPhones were fucking, like, put, the, found, the, 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 the and initial that's not that materials we're, were found. We're not comparing, or, we're not comparing and exploitation and shit. Or, yeah. No, not at all, but yeah. I'm saying if you want... It's hard to be selective about what you purchase in a materialistic culture. About like, oh, like who I who I do and don't support. Like, it's yeah. it's a real hard stance to stand on. And for I example, like, yeah, because I buy off white shit and people call Virgil a coon. So it's like for me, it's like you can't call Virgil a coon when he was on the Black Lives Matter donating to actually uplift black people. And uh, he's how many other black curators has he uplifted? Hood by air. Um, a cold wall, V loan. And what makes him a coon? He's breaking bears as a black man. Well, Niggas. one, he married a white woman. Okay. So you know, black Twitter don't like that. You know, you know, I'm for the black family. So you feel me? I, I feel that. I feel where where that's coming from. He married a white woman. Black Twitter don't like that. Black Twitter. The black. Picture of his wedding is kind of funny though. Black, and it's all white people, but it's obviously right. it's like you know how. I believe it. Right at a wedding, if you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure at a wedding, you take one photo with everyone from your mom's side, you take one photo from everyone from your dad's side, and then you take one photo with everyone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just posted the white side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it went in on that. It went in. Wow. Third of all, so like, he's donated millions of dollars for specific urban, like, like design schools, like, yeah. like for, for development of young people of color's life to get in the game. So, and what do you think made everyone turn, okay, also, all his off-white team... That's the book. <laughs> Send this to Jason so we can throw it up right here. <laughs> no, I've definitely seen it. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. So, there, okay. Virgil's off-white team is all for the white man. European white man. Okay. Keep in mind, off-white is based in Italy. Yeah. Going back to my second thing. Would you rather have a black man employ other black people or uplift them as curators to have their own brand? I think I think I I hear you on that, and I think there's for where he is, there's opportunity for him to be doing both. So if, if his whole Italy. staff is white men, he can he can he can be staffing more black men. That photo was in 2017. He though. Definitely could make a statement, especially working out of Italy. That's where true. Italy has the history of, of race. They still do, bro. Racism. They still do. Yeah. They literally still do. Have you seen not seen the soccer? The soccer, soccer games, games. They got a chance, bro. No. They got, they like, got like, like, fuck you, nigga, no, champ. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like monkey and shit, like monkey chants, hella wild ass shit. Even in Spain, bro, one time, oh. Spain, they threw well, a Spain banana. Spain people like Americans hate Mexicans. They, Spain threw a banana. You know, Spain, like, Spain a threw a banana. Field? Yeah, foul. I of fucking shit. Oh no, that's that weird. Shit. So I do agree with that. I will say that, but at the same time, it's like when your brand's just starting, and especially you you're know saying, what I'm saying, where are you? Where are you? You're saying where is he creating more impact though? And he's that's he's what creating I'm more impact. Like in my opinion, that, yeah. I think it's more impact for you to give black men and women their own platform instead of employing them. I feel like I, I giving them their own. And so this is the reason. This is the biggest bottleneck than just letting motherfuckers work for you. Well, I mean, he can only have so many jobs. Exactly. He can only give out so many jobs, but he can... If and he, you're going to make more, more, bro, you're gonna make more money and give people more jobs. Here's the thing, too. People are too dumb to fucking realize. If you employ one black man, that takes away all the connections that that black man has in a sense because now that black man can't employ people for off-white. What do you... Wait, can you, what do you mean? Can you say it again? Okay, so if he gives another black man a platform, that black man can now take his own company make more money than he would working for off white have more of a message we have more black and brown people 
at the forefront of fashion being able to push this message. Not everybody can build a brand though. So like, but everyone way. that Virgil touches has. That's what I'm saying. Everyone on his team is like, like, bro. Every Jerry Lorenzo, bro, has to ver, Jerry Lorenzo. Um, and Virgil also came up just around like in a time. Don, where it was, yeah, like, around exactly. Don Q, around yeah, Don 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 C, yeah, that's what I'm well, saying. I, what I'm getting at to your point was Kanye, like, bro. For he, sure. he won a Grammy for designing Kanye's out art. No, and album, what I'm saying but. is not everybody on his team is gonna do that. Like some people on his team are good at what they do on his team. Exactly. So I, okay, you, you, and we don't want to stop that, also, creators from creating their too. vision. On here's my team. point. No, too. I, hear, I hear your point. There's these uh, these respond. black curator black curators. They're too talented to be just on Virgil's team, and Virgil knows that. No, for, I'm, and I'm saying those people should not be stuck under Virgil. But not everybody is those curators. You exactly. Feel like if you are, if you have your own vision, you should be out, go off and create that shit and be the next Virgil Abloh or bigger. But if you not everybody can do that and here's shit. The thing and too, if you're, you're meant putting to be on more the team, black and be brown on the team. voices inside of, you know what I'm saying, inside the fashion, we have a message now. We have power in it. You know what I'm saying? It's like sports. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's like yeah. music. But and get it. Yeah, I just want, I think it's also just important to highlight the value of getting experience here's, under going, someone that's Speaking to this topic, though. Rocky, well, because he's a that's a value. That's valuable. Who's this Dior. Yeah. So he's a Dior. He's a. He's a. I forgot what he is for Dior. He was the only black straight male in that whole board. And it goes to say, bro, you, you, we need to put more people like this in this position. That's why I've never knocked Virgil. Because how many people has he put in a good position? Right. And that's why I think it's important. Like, how many people, artists? People going to call him Bro, look what cool, he did. Look, look, so, look. Yeah, they don't want to talk about all the shit on the background. Okay, so the biggest reason they call him a coon, he posted that he donated $50, right? To like a Black Lives Matter, like... Charity thing, right? So for Chicago youth or something. So the thing is, it was like a like an Instagram chain posted by Tag. You're supposed to match the donation, and famous people were doing it. So he matched the donation, right? Matched fifty dollars. Everyone was like, "Bro, you're you're a millionaire designer, and you only throw fifty dollars." And there's like, "Bro, I already donated thirty grand before anyone even tagged me." Right. But of course. Twitter, he already has a white wife. He already like all this. Tw- Twitter's gonna run with he Give donated. Give something fi- to talk about. Twitter's gonna run with he donated right. fifty dollars and ignore the fact that he's created multiple establishments for uh, for um, like for um unfortunate youth that that he donated over fucking five figures. For sure, and uh, my thing like before that was like but we're, that's the thing he did not post about donating twenty fucking grand. No, for, because he didn't post are, like look at me. I'm post. I'm, I donated twenty grand. People who are really about that shit don't need to post it, and people who aren't about. Aren't out there creating shit. And that's the thing too with cancel culture. They just they just are quick. They just want something to talk about. Exactly. They see that's the thing with cancel culture too. They see one thing, one thing, and they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Ain't it? My bad. We keep cutting off this top ten. So Pharrell, Pharrell and MDs. I don't think Noah Adidas shoes should be in your top ten. Fuck you. These are dope. (laughs) Um, Complex con releases, bro. Yeah, these are dope. The nerd NMDs? Yeah, the oh, nerd NMDs are hard. Red and blue. Oh, the all black ones. No, the red and blue ones. No. Red, blue, and white. Yeah, he hit him with the... This one, like Superman vibes. I fucks with him. My, my man loves his fuck... My man, you see, my man's here is all for the elementary school colors. <laughs> fuck you. I just like colors, nigga. Red yes. and blue is not elementary. That's just a color. It's the all white with the red and blue and like the long green accent, right? Um, Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nah, okay. Those are dope. Those are dope. Joints. Yeah, exactly. Superman type shit. But the Thornbreaker 4s are fire. For sure. But they're not that. No, they're not. This completely different shoe. Completely All right, continue. Shoe. That, that's just trash. Um, fire as fuck. It's just trash. Um, then after that, we got the white off white complex con forces. Okay. Yeah. That's your fifth, right? Yeah. I Tif- hope so. Tiffany Dunk SBs. Which colorway? Yellow. Uh, White, but like to like you. Of course, like the sauciest ones were the yellows, but like for me, they nobody have those. But the the white ones were sick. Uh, oh, I like the white ones more than the black ones for sure. Um, you think the yellow pair is better than the white pair? Yeah, yellow oh, pair was for oh. sure the sauciest pair. <laughs> you too. Oh, the canary yellow. Yeah, red and a pole, pole time. Yeah, no, the yellow pairs. Yellow like, or white? I'm shit, going on white. Mm mm. Oh, white for sure. Um. Easy go cool, for sure. And after that, we're gonna do the uh, the blue off white forces. No, no, no. Pause, 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 pause. I yeah. skip because I don't even like like the um, 
I put the Air Force One V-Loans on there, but, like, I don't... Those are more so towards the bottom of my list. I'm going to keep it right with you. Those are cool just because, like, they're cool. So if the V-Loans are on the list, the Revenge Storms could be on the list. Right, yeah. I mean, I didn't take them off. I was just... This was... This was I didn't even know both them dudes had know. rape allegations on them. And then I got... Um, I didn't know Barry had rape allegations either. I only know that one incident. My top is the... Kid Cudi Cactus flea, plant flea market hoodie. That's your top one? Yeah, the intergalactic one. That shit, that's the cool, that shit is so dope. Like, that is one of the coolest hoodies I've ever seen. Okay. So, moving on to mine. Honorable mention, uh, Takmer Kami, the Cubs jersey, the Chicago Cubs. It's blue and light blue, bro. Woo-wee! Hello, fucking bro. Takashi Murakami. I haven't seen that. Cubs jersey. Bro, this is my honorable mention because I actually do have a top 10. This one. Tell me, bro. On the right. Ah, bro. Come on now. Hello. You don't like it? <coughs> what? <coughs> bro, look at the flower patch on the side. Yeah, that's kind of basic, brother. <laughs> it's kind of trash, bro. What? Yeah, no, that's not him. This? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. No, nah, y'all tripping some do obsidians? Yeah, I mean, mm, I, I have a better fit for the obsidians. No kidding. Mm, tripping, that jersey's I'm hard as fuck. Y'all are tripping. <laughs> for 300, I'm, gonna it, like, I'm, I'm, for I'm 300. I'm not saying it's a... F- okay, we're not taking price into fucking consideration. None of us would be spending 10 bands on a fucking off-white MCA. Yeah, board. no, but I'm saying, like, the... Oh, it's not raw, whether it was a couple no, dollars. No, like, you feel no, me? So I'm no, no, no. I'm definitely no, not No, this jersey is raw. Y'all are tripping. Nah, Moving name. on to my actual I top 10 sneakers. Number 10. <laughs> What'd you say? I would buy it if it was in the bargain basement. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah, you're like tripping. Ten. So what's the most you'd pay for this jersey? Brand new? Yeah. Like one. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Th- that's how much yeah. jerseys typically cost. Yeah. That's prob- was, how much was retail? Probably like 300. I'm not sure. I, don't doubt, I it, doubt it. But uh, I wouldn't it. buy it. I'm going to keep it real with Starting you. Starting with... You're smoking it. No. <laughs> Starting with the sneakers, Air Max One Atmos pack. I'm just gonna go with the whole pack, but if I had to say a favorite pair, I'm gonna go with the cow leather. No, it's not cow the leather, cow but the, so, cow the cow was the sauciest one. The cow was dope. I also like the, uh, the zebra. Tiger. Or the tiger, the zebra, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna go with the cow. Number nine, the Clark Kent Air Force. DJ Clark Kent Air Force. Yes, sir. Those are dope. Legend. Number eight, Yellow Diamond Dunk. It's it's like, it's cool, but it's like, to me, it's not, you know what I'm saying? There's too much heat. Number seven, Travis Scott Canvas Air Force. Okay. To me. For sure. Uh, Number six. White MCA off white air. No, I'm gonna go with the bl- blue pair. The blue pair is, is and you know what I'm saying it's like it's sick, but like that blue pair isn't that the blue tone isn't the craziest. Oh, I think that blue is crazy. Um, mm-hmm. number five, I'm gonna go with the black MCA off white pair. Okay, the Momas, the Momas Air Force Ones going for like 10 grand, 8 grand. I feel like Air Forces are like. Hmm. They got some wacky ass colors though. Like the Clark Kent's colors are like a crazy color. Like, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about. No, I mean he has multiple. Like a, it's a, it's a I'm talking about the yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the the suede ones. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Number three. I'm gonna go with a white pair. The off white white MCA pair. I know that's kind of saturated, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. Okay, I feel yeah. like there's no way to like. There's no way like Adidas shoes look better than this shoe or any other shoe. It's just like my personal opinion. Like. Oh, you working on that toy? Uh, moving on, number two, this is going to be controversial, V-Lone Air Force One, that's just a nice shoe to me, black orange with the like, patent glow. Yeah, it's, it's a nice show, it's, a, it's yeah. a nice shoe for sure, and I forgot the Rockefeller ones, though, like, when I was, when I named the, v, the, the V-Lone Forces, no, uh, not the Rockefeller ones, the Rockefeller Forces, when I named the V-Lone Forces, I was like, hmm, like, I kind of don't put those I mean, they're Rockefeller, Rockefeller ones, you, they know what we're talking about, Air Force for sure. ones, yeah. 
Number one, white diamond dunk. Okay, so that's your number one. Complex that pair was too saucy, bro. It kind of gives me Sean Cliver like before vibes, but like. I feel saucy. like I feel I love the shoe. I feel like it's just so plain for like I feel like it's it's so much more plain than all the other dope shit on your list. And I'm surprised that it took number one over all the other dope shit. So you so so like you really like your your loud sneakers, huh? Yeah, to like that impress me, like, cause I, I get, yeah, like, I mean, cause I, I will admit this, it's harder to make a loud sneaker look good. That's why Off White does such a good job. Like, there's literally fucking letters on the side of your sneaker. There's a fucking red tag hang on it. Right, you could do a lot with it. Yeah, like it's harder to make a good, like a loud shoe look good. So I'll give you that. I see like, what you mean by that. By that, but at the same time, that white diamond dunk, they make simplicity look wild okay. and good. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, to I, me. I hear you. Like and you can like, pull the patch off, and you got this popping teal. Still swoosh, still sitting on the sneaker. I got you. Bro, like, yeah, bro, to me, bro. Yeah, it's just too nice to me. Just, like, the way they're, like, the the, the like the light gray sits on the white, with the, but it's still, like, to me, it's, like, not only is, it like, you can't say, it's not that it's an all-white sneaker. It's a con. Lino, don't lick that. You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> he was about to lick the fucking outlet. But... It's like that, so it has the white that's just a base white leather. It has the gray that takes contrast away from the white, and then it has the fucking just a plow with a fucking chrome swoosh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And underneath the chrome swoosh is that henna. Yeah, henna so if too. you ever want to change it up a bit. Right there. I fuck, yeah. I just I fuck with a, a few more other releases on your list before the more, like, above the, uh, above that white dunk. Like, the, the V-Lon Force is damn near more than that one for sure. I mean, have you seen the Friends and Family v Air Forces? No, I'm just thinking of the, the regular black and white. No, ones. there's multiple pairs. There's there's mids. There's multiple color of the mids. Friends and Family. I like the... Obviously, the Friends and Family pairs are better. The white pairs. The white all over pairs, too. Oh, yeah. The white pair is sick as fuck. Oh, the scribble on? Oh, this one. With the writing on it? The white pair? No, that's a custom. No, that's a custom. Look them up on SuckX, because they're probably not... Yeah, I'm just all saturated. And you're just going to get this point of class real quick. White. The white pair is definitely better than the... <coughs> the white pair is definitely better than the black pair, but they never released the, the white pair. Or if they did, I think it was like at a pop up or something. This one. Ooh wee! Oh whoa whoa! Oh, I see the mids. The black mids. The Nike. I feel like Nike's making it impossible to find them because these are all fucking custom. Customs. That's all I see. There's a white patent leather pair. Interesting. Well, if I find the pair, I'll post them. But other than that, it's looking like... It's looking like that's it. It's in the archives. It's in the archives. It's gone. Oh, no. I'm searching on... Oh, but these are the friends and family. Look, these are all the friends and family ones. Oh, those are dope. Jeez, those green ones. Those are dope. Yeah. That yellow caught my attention. That's what I'm saying. Rocky has, like, all of them. Crazy. But, yeah. Sneaker Beater. Sneaker Beaters episode five. Hoodie be Jamestown here. Hello, Jason. We're about to, I'm about to duel this for Oh, you yeah, know, Mama. got the Yu-Gi-Oh like, decks nah, out. I'm about to serve this guy. I'm not going to lie. He got a serious deck going up. Is your deck? Oh, you and Yu-Gi-Oh? You went to Yu-Gi-Oh too? I used to play. Bro, come on now. You know how you got like OG shit? Come on now. You know how I'm fucking him up. We both got dragon decks. I ain't going to lie. If you know what this is, you know I'm fucking him up. dragon decks more. You know what? This is, you know, I'm fucking them up. Sneaker, beaters, Yu Gi Oh! We coming at you. And we go. That's the extra deck. Bitch. And we stepping in in complex combo. Big stepping. Hold on. We got big. Oh, you got synchros in your deck, too. Synchros, XYZs. And we got polys. Highlight us. Let's do it!